United States boasts many fine ballet companies, but only one that is designated the national company. Many people ask me what's different you know, about American Ballet Theatre than say the Paris Opera or the Royal Ballet or the Bolshoi or any of the other big national ballet companies. It is the fact that we are comprised of Russian dancers and, and French dancers and American dancers and British dancers and Australian dancers and have been since our very first day. And when you put a group of people like that together, they start to learn from each other. And that's what the American experiment is about. ABT will be performing two separate programs while we're there in Australia. Uh, the first will be a repertory program comprised of uh, Twyla Tharp's Bach Partita. It's been a long time uh, since it's been revived, almost 30 years. The second piece on the program will be uh, Alexei Ratmansky's Seven Sonatas. He's you know, sort of revered uh, these days as, the, you know, along with Chris Wielden is probably one of the great ba ballet choreographers of our age. Uh, and Australia probably knows him quite well as he's worked a lot with Australian ballet. The last piece on that program is Jerome Robbins' Fancy Free. It's a great story of three sailors on shore leave in 1940s wartime uh, New York City and uh, all the mad capers that they get into. The second program we'll be doing is my production of Swan Lake. It's a pretty traditional telling of Swan Lake with really amazing sets and costumes. We're so looking forward to it. ABT has not been to Australia before because there are uh, huge obstacles of bringing a company this big that far away. ABT, for the first time in Australia and only in Brisbane. It's a great honor for us to go to Australia.